And thanks for staying with us. Now, if you got engaged over the festive season, you might want to pay attention. Let's cross back to the lovely Laura at the Wedding Journal show. Laura. Thanks very much, Lisa. Yes, we've had a wonderful time at the Wedding Journal show here in City West this morning. Now, it's all about the cakes. And I've got Beverly Murphy from Amazing Cakes with us. Beverly, what an array of splendid cakes. They're all edible. All edible. Yeah, you can eat everything on them. Um, again, from the handmade figures down to the icing bowls. What because those behind you there, the beautiful pearl white cake, that would be quite a traditional cake. Yeah, it is a very, very traditional design. Again, they're very popular. We call them the vintage collection. And they can be uh, mixed and made bigger or smaller, whatever really that you want as, as a couple. Moving down the line, you've uh, introduced a bit of colour here, I suppose, it tying into the bridal bouquets and the theme of the day. Absolutely. And again, you have the cake toppers on that. A lot of people are bringing the likes of their pets, their dogs, their children in into the wedding cake now so again it's just a little bit of something that is very personalized to the couple and again it adds the wow factor for the day you it know? really does and as does this one so this is the themed wedding cake a game yes. of thrones wedding cake game of thrones and again it means you have the likes of that you can do star wars whatever you are into and a lot of people really theme their weddings around now um is that basically, a popular thing for 2017? Absolutely, and, and last year was really, really popular. So basically, people are going in expecting traditional wedding cake, and when they see something like that, oh my God, did you see the cake? I love the Lego cake here. That's Lego a real fun cake. element. Absolutely. And again, um, a lot of people are bringing their childhood memories into the wedding cake as well and we have had some couples that have given us pieces of their own lego to put on oh, so sweet. it's very very personal and again it's fun and some of them are just great crack i mean look at this vegas cake if you get a shot of that one there that's fantastic everyone loves elvis <laughs> yeah, they really and do. elvis and the show girls sure, where would you be going you know and again it's a bit of fun you have your destinations of the wedding and it, again it's getting away from the traditional element of you know and again you can have whatever you want on it the inside of all of these cakes so the cake is really becoming a centerpiece not just something that you eat at the, the modern wedding it's it something that is more, a wow factor it is more of a centerpiece now it's a statement piece mm -hmm. and again some people tie things in again you know if you're kind of going to go with a vegas team you might team all the table names around you know places in vegas the stratosphere whatever it is you know and how long do wedding cakes last because i hear about sometimes that you know they're eaten at christenings the yeah. year later well, well, again, uh, like everything else, if, if you freeze it, it'll keep, you know. But the likes of chocolate biscuit lasts for about four weeks. Uh, your softer layer is about a week and a half. Well, actually, speaking of flavours, we're going to get onto what's inside the cakes now. And you have some fabulous samples here. This is my favourite part of the morning so far, I have to Again, say. this is 11 flavours that we do in, in, a, in a, the shop. So here you have... Um, your lemon cake, which is nice and zesty. Your chocolate biscuit, there's red. Velvet. Going way too fast. Oh, Let's have a taste. Have a taste. <laughs> so this is lemon that cake. That is the lemon cake. And is this a popular It's really taste. popular. Really? It's lovely and zesty. And it's very fresh. Mmm. Very fresh. Will sponge freeze? Yes. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, it'll freeze. So chocolate biscuit cake. I would have said would have been definitely a winner for wedding yeah, it cakes. It is, and again, um, it's we use a Belgian chocolate, which is really really good. Then you have um, the likes of your red velvet, which is very well, and it's like Sex in the City, and you know it's very New York, it's very rich looking, very, very decadent. Yeah, it's really really not, beautiful when it's cut. Then you have your chocolate fudge cake. Um, the old favourite then is your fruit cake, which is here. Um, a lot of people still will go for a little small layer to appease mammy and granny, mm. about six seven people. So normally we would. Stay it up towards the top unless like there are a lot of fruit lovers out there they would still have the big base in fruit so that's easily easy manage easy to manage then creating a cake yeah. with different layers different Absolutely. flavors i always advise go with a different layer up to edge cake well your guests and what you have and also give them choice and so choice. in terms of choice, you also mentioned earlier on that you actually sometimes do cakes that are split half and half. We do a huge array of cakes that are split. And again, it appeases both bride and groom because the, the bride inevitably wants traditional and the man wants mad. He, he's still a boy at heart, so he wants <laughs> he wants his man cake. So again, we would do a lot of the superhero on one side versus traditional. You could do Game of Thrones half and half. You could do a Spider-Man, Superman. Anything goes. Rally, anything. So in terms of lead in time, then how long should cake makers be given um cake makers in my estimation if you want somebody to design something for you you need at least 12 months to to book your slot so you'll get who you want 
you know. Um, if you come to me six months in advance, if I can fit you in, I can fit you in, and if I can't, I can't. Because we would get bookings like way in advance, especially when, at the wedding during the show today. Now, we will get a huge amount of couples that will come here today to book. And I suppose for the more original cakes like the Game of Thrones one, you do need that time. You do need that time because you can only do so much. Well, listen, it's been a pleasure chatting to you this Thank morning. Thank you very much. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to sample all of these, Beverly. Just Ab Well, you do, and that's a toffee caramel divine. Toffee caramel? Yeah. I'll save some for the guys do. back in studio. Thank you very no much. Problem. Thank you. We've had a wonderful time here at the Wedding Journal show this morning, and if you fancy coming along, uh, doors are open today and tomorrow from 12 to 6, and you can pay in at the door. But for now, it's back to Lisa. Save you a slice. Promise. Now, Laura, you better hold that thought because I definitely want a slice of that cake. It looks absolutely gorgeous.